Ah, Bella. Hello, everybody. My name is Guido. And welcome to another episode of the Tree Whisper. Today we're in Italy. And right now I'm studying this beautiful little statuette by the great sculptor Pierre Auguste Rodin. This is a uh, piece that came from a larger piece called the Gates of Hell, approximately uh, 18 feet tall by about 12 feet wide, three feet deep. And uh, he had the thinker in that. He had this very famous, beautiful piece called the Kiss. Such a gorgeous, beautiful spe uh, sculpture, the use of negative space, the intimacy, the delicacy, the beauty. And so this is going to be my prime directive for today as we work our way through this beautiful Ali. This is called an Ali in the classic French sense of the word. Uh, and this is a great unusual opportunity for me because I've never worked on a property that had this many old olive trees. Some of these have been kind of mangled and mishandled by prior tree people or gardeners, but I'm going to straighten this thing out today. So I'll be doing a lot of uh, structural work, removing uh, offending larger branches, and I'm going to be working with the graceful lines, much as is in this gorgeous statuette here the kiss and so i'm going to bring out that same type of feeling that sensual curvy beautiful natural organic feel so by the end of the day uh we'll take our final shot of this and you'll see the difference so let's just kind of walk our way down here nate and just have a look here so you can see a lot of these trees have grown over the wall so I'm going to thin them out. I'm not going to do any blunt cutting or tipping. That's not allowed today. No. Uh, I am going to remove some larger branches. Uh, as an example, you know, some of these larger ones in here we'll take out. And uh, so by the time we get done, it look fabulous. And if you flip around, you can really just see with the dappled light coming in the opposite direction, what we're going to do. So uh, by the end of today, we'll, we'll have this thing straightened out. So uh, kind of a arriva dirty until we come back on the other side of this. Thank you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what I'm going to do is going to be some corrective work. The prior tree company or the gardener or whatever that mangled a lot of these trees. Stubs are not good. I'm going to be removing little stubs like this. Uh, I'll be doing uh, some structural work, removing some larger branches, so you can just follow me for a minute or two. acceptable leaving stubs like that no professional arborist does that that's a sign of complete rank amateur so you can see I already uh, removed this little stub from here so that's off now I want to show you something over here personally I would never leave a stub like that so that's going to come off this gets clean flush cut as Dr. Shigo my mentor taught us how to do all trees are nothing more than a series of Y's or crotches we want to cut just outside the branch bark collar, that little ridge on the crotch, we don't leave a stub, nor do we do an included cut either. So, just as an example. You can see, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to be really careful when I'm doing that, that I don't cut into the good part of the tree, so I have to have precise control of this. All right, I'll see you guys a little later. Okay, lady, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm working my way down the alley to the other side, and uh, so I'm, this one's taking a lot of restructuring. Just watch what I do for a couple minutes, you'll get a sense. So I've already lopped off a really huge, a 16-inch trunk that went that way, that had been topped before, had a little sucker on it, that's gone. I'm going to bring the artistry out in this, just like that beautiful piece, the kiss. Uh -huh. 
Just so you know, I'm going to take this one out because this one's going into the, uh, and I don't want this as part of the ultimate shape. And it's, uh, you'll see how it'll look like when I pull this out. <laughs> Oh, that's cleaning up real nice. I'm just going to work that principle all the way down the line. So in this case, what we're going to do, we don't want to have branches, you know, rubbing. Can you see that up against the house? We don't want anything like that. It's a rodent conveyor. It can destroy the roof. So that one's going to come out. Uh, I'm also going to take that big one out right there. So just watch while I do this. <laughs> So just those simple cuts right there, they just go all the way down. It's all done very intuitive, very naturally, very quickly, but that's because of many, many years, 20 years of experience. It looks fast and simple to the outside observer, but it's all done intuitively and kind of rapid fire ends up working out in the end. Here I'm just uh, finishing up. We've done a lot of major restructuring. It looks a thousand percent better. So I'm just fine tuning trees. We'll come back in a little while with Nate the Great and he'll do a wrap up shot. Good morning, uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Uh, my name is uh, Guido, the tree whisperer. But today we're finishing up our little jaunt in Italy. We worked on, uh, I don't know, almost 20 old olive trees that were in very bad condition, particularly from a prior tree service or gardener or whatever, as often happens to be the case. And I get the 911 call from the owner to come fix a problem. So again, I'm Gary Walker, the tree whisperer, saving the world one tree at a time. And that's my little pet yapper in the background. Don't mind him. He's just a little barker, a little hungry terrier. So we're just going to kind of go down here. I left a little debris on the ground to kind of keep it real. And as we move on down, you'll see it kind of get nice and clean. Like my mama likes me to keep it the house and nice and clean, no mess. Anyway, she don't want to take that kind of stuff. Come on with me now, Paisan. So you can see all the trees. So you remember in the beginning, it started out with that a beautiful statue by uh, Augusta Rodin, the, the kiss, the beautiful kiss. A man and a woman embraced in the act of love, the beauty of their arms and their legs. Hey, you little yapper. And it's all very beautiful. And so I took that same principle in line and try to make all the lines of the trees much like the intertwined lines of the lovers and the kiss. So bear that in mind as you look. Thank you for taking care of that little yapper. Come on. Beautiful lines, very sensuous lines. Watch out here, Nate. Don't slip down this slope. It's a slippery slope. Now. You see, coming down here, the beautiful lines of the trees. Ah, the romantic smell of a beautiful flower reminds me of the grace of a beautiful woman and the beautiful trees. 
Now I'm seeing a large table here for maybe 30 or 40 people like the scene in The Godfather. Everybody having a good time here. Hey, you the chilies have been messing with my family for so many years. I can make you an offer you can't refuse. And then, of course, we come to the end of this little line here, the beautiful tree. So I'm going to leave it to Senor and Nate to finish this thing up. But thank you very much, Nate, and my paisan. Arrivederci, everybody.